everybody, welcome to Extruction. I am right now currently working on a western bee plow, so I'm going to teach you how to do it. I already started it, but I'm going to show you in a different box how to just start it up. And you're going to need a large box, and so you can make it any way you want, any kind of plow you want or make up your own name, but I'm just going to show you how to start it up. So first of all, what we're going to do is I'm just going to give you an example on this tiny little box that probably not even going to use. So you might want to pull the tape off of it and just start by trimming the edges so that it's nice and so that it folds out. So, it's, your box should look something like a cross or an X. And now what you're going to want to do is go straight for the tape and just cut right through the tape on both sides. So, this here is what it should look like. I shouldn't have this gap here, but my box does. So, then you're going to lay it down like I did to this one, and you're just going to want to put these pieces over it like that and tape it on. Alright, so that's where I got to on this. So the plows, so my plow is going to be about this big, and it's a v, what a V plow is, is it can go from scoop, go sideways, and V. So that's what a V plow can do, and that's what it means when you're talking about a V plow. So that's what I'm making. So to continue on, you will need tape, scissors, later in the video string, and printed paper, or you can just use markers on it. But I have the Western logo already printed, but you can print your own logo or design it, whatever you want. So I am now going to trim down these pieces. do this, you're going to want to make sure this piece goes does not go over this crease, but you can't have it like this where there's creases, how this can turn to or your V won't work properly. You'll need to put it straight so that it's facing sideways instead of up and down. So you can bend it like this, but not like this. So then we're going to take that on and follow it up with this. So it's going to be about like this. I'm just going to have to attach everything on. I don't want to pull off anything, including the packaging tape. And that I consider an extra thing that you don't need unless you want it. Unless you want your plow to say prime, in which case I do not want mine to say prime. So now the back, back here, we're going to cover in the color of paper. I have like 50, 50, 60, maybe 70 sheets of black, straight black paper that I print. So we're going to be using that on the back of later, not yet. So afterwards your plow should look like this, and you should be able to only bend it like this. But even when you hold it on the outside, it should only be able to bend like this. So now, this here will be the back where you put these so they don't have to show. Now you'll need the front. So here, I'm just going to bring a bunch of white paper up on the front so that it's the closest to the stainless steel color that I like of it. So, what the regular plow, I need to pull up a template of it. 
So we're just going to start by laying all the colors, all the paper along here. So that's going to have to go there. But Alright, so Western Contractors grade, I am doing, so it is a MP3 B plow, MP3 BP Okay, so, this here is what you're is going to look like. So you're going to be able to bend it, but you're also going to need what I'm using, the stainless steel. And this, if you have real stainless steel, that's great. But you can do, like I said, any color you want. doesn't matter what color you do. So I don't care what color. I don't care if you make up your own name for your plow. So you're just going to nicely lay the papers along it. You want to make sure that they're nice and straight. Alright. Now, the reason why I like western plows more than boss plows is because when you're in scoop position, boss plows, if you're plowing too much snow, will fly back into V plow. So I like I like my plows in scoop. I like seeing the V plows when they come in scoop mode. So this plow is gonna be one that can mainly go in scoop. Mainly goes in scoop, but it is easy to take it out of scoop. Please move. And so White is the closest I can get to stainless steel. So that's what I'm going to do. And then got to add in Western logo. And on the back, we'll add in the black. So cardboard creations that I make are very fragile. So when you build them, you got to take easy care and precaution of them. So your plow should be able to bend like this. Now, it might fold up on these places. So if you don't want it to, you got to take them in. So that's a way that I know. I always check by bending it to see if it'll fold up. Same thing with doors on vehicles. When you make vehicles with doors, they will fold and unfold and stuff. So the paper will get worn out. Every like five weeks, I will replace my vehicle's paper unless it gets wet because when you have ink and wet gets and your ink gets wet on paper. The ink will turn a different color, make water spots, and I do not like that. So I'm gonna always replace it if it gets wet. Alright, now your plow should be able to fold. Yes, it's gonna do that. So we're gonna have to push it right down through the middle. Where's the middle? Right down through the middle, right where my finger is, is gonna go one strip of tape just to keep it nicely protected. And it should easily fold like that now. So, so your tape, so your paper should be real easy on you. And yeah, there. So this is gonna work really well. And the plow should fold, and it hardly makes a single crease. Only like right here. So now moving on to the back. Well, first we're going to need the logo on the front. So this here is the top of the front. This here is the bottom. Alright, so you can put your logo on whatever side you want. But I'm going to add mine in on this side here. And then I'm going to write contractor's grade on it. Alright, now, 
Okay, so MVP is going to be a little bit harder to write. MVP three. So now your plow should look somewhat like that. And now through the middle, we're gonna have to draw toward the bottom like a circle. And in it you're just gonna make it look like turning, like things that would allow the plow to turn. There we go. Now you just want to color them in if you want, like I'm going to do. So there, and now like straight up through the top. And all right, now we're gonna need to move on through black paper. So let me remove the cap from my bed real quick. So, back I have, so you're going to want to get it to the right dimensions, about here. So what I mean by right dimensions is, on the plow, you're going to want to line up a black piece of paper like this if you're doing western same with balls just just looks a little different on balls so boss has a thinner strip toward the bottom on their view glass so now do this a whole entire strip along the whole bottom, this whole entire way across the whole bottom. So you're just going to keep lining it up so it's the exact size that you want. I've been working with cardboard since I was nine, and 
it is pretty complicated on certain moments. Okay, so now you have the contractor's grade of 33. So, so now we cut it straight in half again. Now, I'm, I screwed up a little here, but I can easily fix that. I would have printed more red paper, but I used it all on one of my previous vehicles. So, I don't have that right now. So I would do it in the color-coded red probably, but like I said, I don't have the red right now. But I do really like the stainless steel color. So, this so here's going to have to fold around. Now this here's where it gets pretty complicated. And you get to an edge and it sticks out a little. So you gotta fold it around or you can cut it with scissors. But if you want it to look more delicately, nicely made, you gotta nicely fold it. And then there will be a little tab sticking up like right here if you cut it too long. And then you just fold that down and tape it right here. There. So that's gonna happen to me on both sides probably. And yes it did. Now this here is a much larger tab, so when it's a larger tab, you're going to do the same thing on the back, but then you're going to fold it to the back, depending on how large it is. So it doesn't really matter what you do, but if I fold it, but if I would have folded it to the front, it would have shown the white that's under the black. So I did not want that. So this here is how the front of your plow should look. I have the contractor's grade. If you're doing western, it should look like this. If you're doing boss, it should look a little different. If not like this thing, but just a few things here. But this here is westerns. And now, we're going to move on to the back. But before we do, you need to make little antennas. And then we'll install them after the black is done. So, I have some red construction paper. It doesn't matter if you use construction paper or what you use. As long as you use paper. So... I am using construction paper. If you want, you can just have it straight. But with a straight brown color cardboard. Lots of people who do stuff like this will just leave it like that. Okay, so I added black paper to the back so that it still nicely folds. But now we have the antennas that I'm that I've just made, and I only made one that you can see but so they get put right here nicely there so I'm just gonna wrap it and then around at the top you can see at the top One at the top, one the ring of black at the top of this. All right, yeah, that's all right. There. All right, both antennas have that at the top, and now moving on to the part where. It's going to help us in the end. So, 
this part here for the plow is where we are going to add, just make sure the dimensions are right, yes. Okay, so on the back of it, we are about to add a piece like this to connect. So, in order to do that, we need it in the perfect dimension, right in the middle, so that we can be it at certain points and stuff. So. V. This here's scoop. V. This. I don't know how I'm gonna get. Oh, there we go. Okay, somehow I'm gonna be able to get to turn. But okay, so I'm mainly ever going to have it scoop, but I can also have it in the V position. So now we need the light pieces. So they literally stick up and just shine. In on real plows, they will shine. So. How I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna pull it up and then attach a light. So this here is the best part. One of the best parts to a view plow. All plows have a light, but I, mean, I love making a light for the plow. So it's gonna have to stick up like straight out of here. is in here. Now we need to do it to this side. Like this. Alright, now this side here, exact same thing. lights on is more pieces of cardboard, but then I'm going to draw lights on it. So, more cardboard here. Okay, so these here might be like the perfect size for the lights, right? Yeah, these here should be like the perfect size. Okay. Now, so what I'm going to have to do, get a highlighter maybe. No, a highlighter is not going to work. Okay. I'm gonna have to just cut it through 
here. Oops, pee some. Only one, because you don't want it to slip. So I only have to put on one. And then, there we go. I've got two. So now we have it lined up nicely. And then I'll try to get some highlighter on it. Right now, maybe even some just yellow. Because yellow might work better than highlighter yellow. There, yeah. Yellow works better. Straight yellow works better than highlighter yellow. There. Alright, so it should be like that. And now we're going to have to attach it on. So same with the other one. Alright, there. Okay. Now it attaches to here. And there. And now this piece attaches here. Perfect stances. Let me get down a bit. There. Okay. So there's your lights. They're both there. Okay. Now, okay, so. Contractor's gray plow is basically done. Really nice plow, isn't it? And oh, all right. So there. Now it's easiest to keep it standing up in B position, and now. Plow has one piece left down on the bottom. Which is going to be neat, and which is going to need to be attached. Western plows do have a chain, but I do not make the chain in the vi in a video that I make a truck. A video of the truck, I will show you. I will get the chain for it, and we can have a chain. So there you go. Western MVP plow is 100% complete. And if you like this video, you can subscribe and please leave a message if you have any other ideas for a vehicle you'd like me to make or a vehicle accessory like this. And I would love to hear it and possibly make it. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like it. Thank you so much.